I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Welcome back, everyone. I am the Dungeon Master, and this is the Legend of Shiryu. And we are rejoining the party after they have made their way uh, past the orc encampment. And uh, just for the record, guys, like that was pretty much the uh, amount of resistance that you encountered there when you got into the camp. It was abandoned. And, and everybody had fled, and so if you want to pursue them, you'll have to go deeper into the jungles. Um, however, you know, uh, there was uh, some, you know, equipment left behind, though nothing, you know, beyond um, your standard, you know, garbage that, that you guys probably wouldn't want. So unless there's a mundane piece of equipment that you want or something, you know, assume that there wasn't much as far as treasure left behind. Food, rations, stuff like that. But again, they're orc rations. So how much you would want them is, is dependent on, you know, your own personal, you know, tastes and all of that. But also... As as Kuru Kaji had uh, unfortunately passed away, you know, from the battle with the crocodile, there is a new character joining the party now, and so um, we will let him do his introduction and how he came across the party as well. Okay, so my new character is Shiro Kitsu, and. Uh... Yeah, I'm just a wa I'm just a wandering samurai, and the idea with the character is really I just been wandering. I, I think long ago, a few years back, I lost a keepsake that was given to me from a deceased friend. I dropped it in the river by accident when I tripped, and uh, I've been looking for it since for years, and somehow I ended up in this area. So yeah, as you were uh, looking for everything, uh, you had come across this this uh, gang, and rather than fight or be captured, you had actually been uh, negotiating with them in order to try and and find 
you know, this item. And, and so you weren't really doing mercenary work. I, I wouldn't call it that. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, you, you were just... Uh, you know, working with them, you know, maybe showing them uh, s some samurai skill you had in, in exchange for their assistance. And uh, when they all said, you were like, where are you guys going? And they were like, we're getting out of here. The freaking adventurers are coming and they'd like kill. And, and so they all took off, but you stayed behind and, and encountered these adventurers. Hmm. We, just, we just stare in silence looking at each other <laughs> I don't know if we're doing that on the map but if we're just doing theater of mind right now yeah yeah T-O-T-M okay um, uh, I look over quizzically I look him in the eyes and look at the dead Fucking <laughs> samurai, we just saw. <laughs> that was just on our team. To give you visuals, uh, my character's in like, uh, I guess, like white robes with like uh, armor, like uh, underneath and like on the shoulder. Okay, so you got like, do you have like draping robes over your armor or something? Kind of, yeah. I have like the shoulder piece on top type thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what color is your armor? Um. I ask yeah. because Hero Forge has this thing, and I and I uh, am trying to make some custom tokens for everybody right now. Uh, white robes, but the armor itself is just like probably a normal brown, dark color, maybe black. Like well, uh, Samurai actually had very colorful armor at times, um, depending on you know the clan and and who they were and their position and all of that. So. No, my mine would be rudimentary uh, for whatever the world is. I pick I picture it. I'm just a budding samurai wandering the lands. Uh hey, hey uh what's going on, huh? Oh. I haven't seen you guys around here. Yeah, we just uh finished off this uh whatever the fuck this is and he points to the giant crocodile. Um, buddy here, and I point to Tazco has a vengeance against his greenskins, and uh, they got items I like. So, hmm. just being they were helping me out a bit, them. so it's a bit inconvenient. But uh, I can let you help in their place. Quiet. I am praying. Hmm. Yeah, he he grumpy sometimes, huh? Um, oh. A man of God. Uh, but, yeah. Also, the uh, shield you picked up. Father, accept this man into your halls God. so that he may fight in glory every day. While he's meditating, I kind of just grab the bridge of my nose. Uh, uh, holy boy, you're, the shield you picked up, it radiates like you, by the way. Uh... Yeah, what's up with your yeah. friend? He's glowing. He, he's he's a he's he's a I think a paladin or something. There's uh, some god man. purpose. You You said you were with the orcs. I he's said not they were with them. They, they were, were helping, helping him. You gotta listen. Yeah. He's not Eat with my them. word, holy man. Helping them with them, you bet. Have a good explanation as I slowly walk towards him, hand drawing my sword out of his sheath. Oh my god, this man. <laughs> what am I doing? I, I, I explain exactly as I explained in my uh, little backstory. You know, I'm trying to find a, a keepsake of a old deceased friend, and uh, yeah, they were just helping me. Don't know what else to say as I get my hand ready on my hilt. He's not use. He's not with them. He's using them. Come on, man. My lord, sh what shall I do upon this day? I stare at the dungeon master inquis inquisically. Well, Tyr is is a god who espouses, you know, uh, extreme violence when it's called for, 
but never until absolutely necessary. So even if this man were one of the orcs, it would not be necessary to cut him down where he stands unless he were to show hostile, you know, intentions. All right. If if we are to help you, you must first aid us in slaying those who, of whom you hired. Or were hired by. I thought you were about to say, answer these questions three. <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, I'm not against helping you guys if you help me, but. Uh, I'll help I, you out just against... for the sake of having fun and adventure, but I don't know this guy's problem. <laughs> it's okay, he's a bit of an eccentric, but uh, um, I guess keeps it interesting. They seems to attract some fun items, so I've been hanging out. But if to answer his question, if there's injustice, ah, uh, my blade. And, and just for the record, the three questions were going to be: How many monsters have you killed? How many people have you killed? And why? The last yeah. question is: What is your favorite color? Oh, and what is your favorite color? <laughs> Red. No. Blue! <laughs> she. Anyways, what are your uh, what are you gentlemen's names? Uh, my name is Uza. I was gonna say only one of them's a gentleman. Oh, I guess you know. Well, can I tell? Are they hooded? Oh no no no! I I meant as far as like a gentleman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. I was like, this is new to me. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, don't, I say I, that. you're an honorable samurai. Tazco is an honorable paladin, and Uza is Uza. I say yeah. it as, that as a courtesy. It's not necessarily true. Uh, if you look at me, I'm just a kind of a prettier looking human, and I have just brown kind of robish things on with a V shirt. And I perpetually look like there's sand falling off of me. Nice. Okay, so now that's settled. You said this shield glows like me? Yeah, you know when you uh, light your weapon up and you fucking smack them? I've seen you do it a couple times. Uh, The shield kind of puts off the same energy. I uh, look at the shield... Can I recognize any uh, symbols on it, be it religious or militaristic? Keep in mind, I'm a lieutenant in the Great Britannia Army. So... You know, you guys can kind of, like, walk and talk, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I asked you a question. Oh, I'm sorry, what? I, uh, I look at the shield, and do I recognize any uh, religious or militaristic symbols? Keeping in mind, I'm a lieutenant in the Britannia army. Oh, 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 shit. Uh, the the, the uh, dragon skull shield, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see, you see a religious symbol clearly. The symbol of Bahamut, god of all dragon kind, as far as good dragons are concerned, and also, and also many good, uh, good people. Bahamut was uh, evil. Like, like when I say many good people, I mean like the people of like Bretonia and stuff like that. Oh, he's no, not, he he's good. not the god of Bretonia, but like he's a god he's that good. is worshipped there. Yeah, he's a good uh, god. Uh, like, out of character, I thought he was. Uh, I thought. Bah- oh, I'm thinking of Tiamat. You think of Tiamat? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tiamat is Bahamut's like evil twin or mm-hmm. consort, depending on which legends you believe. Okay, so I look, uh, seeing the shield and recognizing that it is, in fact, embroidered with something good, I uh, I put it on. 
Yeah, so equipping the shield, you immediately feel a surge of power. This is a plus one shield that also uh, confers the spell Sanctuary usable three times per day. Just looking up what Sanctuary does. <laughs> Well, at least we'll never lose this guy, him being so shining and all. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Huh? I, I like <laughs> it. Ooh, actually, that's three times a day, really? Yeah. Shit, that's good. So I mean, it only going? lasts for, like, a little bit, you know, so. Being unidentified, I don't know about this, correct? It feel stronger? Yeah, yeah, it feels stronger. It's a plus one shield, but you can't activate the plus one bonus until you attune to it. Nor the sanctuary. So 24 hours. 20, 20, 24 hours. 20, 20, 20. Uh, so uh, you want to keep hunting there, big boy, or, or what? No, okay. This guy's not very talkative, is he? No, I don't know. He's just a, a little enthralled with the shield. Yeah, he seems a little excited. Um, I've been talking. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna restart fucking Discord. <laughs> okay. No, it's canon. Now. He he was he was just looking at his reflection in the shiny shield. Uh, yeah, his claw. I, I, I was saying we we should uh we should chase. Give chase. Okay, but well, that's... I. Get going. But before then. we uh, go in pursuit, we should rest. Because I do not feel comfortable fighting fighting as I am. Okay, let's give this a rest then. Huh? I'm pretty rested, but I can I can I can kick kick well, back for a bit. Maybe you can uh, give me a lookout then. Huh? I I need to do something inside uh, this thing, and I shine the ring. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I'll be right back, and I go into my ring, and I go and find the crown, and I sit with it in the ring, and, and I'm, I kind of, can you pardon? Yeah, yeah. You guys yeah. can't hear me. I can hear him. What? I was leaving to restart card. Okay. As an extra dimensional space, you can sit with the crown in there, but you won't be able to tell anything about it. No, I'm trying to talk to my patron. Yeah. So your your patron your patron has uh, only one thing to to say to you right now. What's up? You know what you have to do now, right, Letty? Whoa. Burn them! Burn them all! What do I have to burn, huh? Everything. Everything? The secret oh. to destruction is simple. Everything mm -hmm. burns. At a high enough temperature. Well, how about I burn some of these orcs' fucking encampments, and uh, that'll be that, and we'll get you some uh, clear elemental grasp, I guess. And you help me out with what the fuck this is, and I shake the uh, crown. He he suddenly, like, wisps of smoke appear like hands. Like, uh, oh, what's his name? I think I know what you're putting down. Uh, yeah. the, the, the floating head genie from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Oh, okay. The, these these wisps of hands suddenly appear and stroke the crown. And as they're stroking it, little soot marks appear on the crown before, like, rising off like a wisp of smoke. Mm. Okay, uh... What happened, huh? 
as it strokes the crown, suddenly it grabs onto it and the crown turns soot black. What the fuck? Oh, just... Okay, is it useless now? What are you doing? Yeah, he just ate its magic. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Mm, bring me more. Well, if I bring you more, I want more power. And this time, not costing my soul. Well, yeah, I mean, you bring me more of this, more, more power, you know? There's a couple of uh, addendums, a few quid pro quo. All right. I guess so. Have a good night, and I get out. Yeah. The exits are here, 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 here. Everywhere! <laughs> and I pick my ring back up and put it back on. So as that. you put the ring back on, it is glowing a, a bright red and uh for the next 24 hours you you uh get an extra spell slot Ooh, so i got three spell slots now yeah nice uh, that's that's pretty nice i feel pretty good huh yeah you bring me more <laughs> What's what's that shield your guys got over there? Could you mm. get your hands on that and bring it in here? Not right now. Shut up. Hey, just you know, spitballing some ideas here, man. Like you know, you want to do something cool? Just let him have his toy. I mean, listen. Feed me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's. I'm good. I'll what about that other guy? He yeah. got anything good on him? No. We just met him. Alright. Well, just let it be known that I am hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm out in the open. I'm back with you guys. Um, I guess we're just taking a, a rest. How long? What are we doing? Jason back here? Uh, I, I'm aiming on regaining all my spell slots. So, so a long rest? rest? Yep. Yeah, so if that is what you guys would like to do, then you know that the trail is going to be at least, you know, eight plus hours old at that point. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, like, you know, don't it come crying to me either. when you can't find these orcs. No worries. Okay. We have to find these smelly orcs, anyways. All right, all right. I'm just making sure that we're clear on this, just so that we know the score. Too many uh, close encounters in the past few days. <laughs> close encounters, you say? Yeah, I mean, a... didn't even break a sweat, boys. <laughs> Well, uh, huh, that guy did, and I point out to the <laughs> crashed up samurai. <laughs> what are you guys doing with this guy? Are you just leaving him, like, just lay there, like, crumpled and dead? I mean, I didn't know him for too long. That's up there. I've already I'm prayed hoping. for him. Hopefully his soul has passed on. You're like, his soul is the only thing that matters. This body was but a vessel. The armor is way too badly damaged, and none of us want his katanas. My, my character has a bad premonition. <laughs> <laughs> right? But I must continue on my search. Hey, you're you're a samurai, man. This is this is what life is. So life. All right, we hit in the hay or what? Yep. So I shall allow for a long rest and I am applying that to you guys thusly nice sometimes i roll if i'm like not sure if i want to you know have it be a random encounter or not but like i'm the kind of dm where you might have noticed i don't really do random encounters too often mm -hmm. just because you know i feel like 
I I can come up with something better, you know, so. Yep. I prefer it. Okay. I mean, I will use them if it's really like, you know, eh, you guys are asking for too many rests. I'll see if, you know. Yeah, something comes along. Yeah, but generally speaking, I have an idea of, of what I want to do, so. Nice. Mm-hmm. So you don't want it to be Pokemon every few steps. Oh, shit, any counter? Right, yeah, this isn't Final Fantasy. I'm not sure if I have the shield in my inventory because I just renamed the old shield. Uh, you probably do not. Let me uh, t- take a look at that once I get you guys on the map. How come you have two magic battle axes? There was the majestic one and the plus one. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. The orc, I remember now. Okay, so here come the shield. (laughs) I was too busy. Being delicious. Here comes the shield. Na 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 na. (laughs) Look at that mighty fine shield. (laughs) What? (laughs) So Jason's character must be like. In canon, like carrying like two battle axes, <laughs> all his weapons, his shield. Yo, I'm a. This guy can't make up his mind on his gear. A God of War, dude. I got, uh, <laughs> j- instead of armor, it's just weapons. You know, I just take it off a piece of my piece off my body and. <laughs> oh, by friend is a katana. By the way, legend says that Tyr fought alongside Bahamut in the Dawn War. Nice. Nice. So, like, you know. It's perfectly acceptable to to rock some Bahamut gear as far as Tyr is concerned. My boy Tyr out here looking out. Hey, my boy Tyr. <laughs> All right, so so uh, yeah, yeah. What what what's up? We just headed in a direction, and I guess we ended up here, right? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, you you guys wake up in the morning you know i assume right yeah Mm -hmm. and then and then you and then you uh you know what like uh uh follow the uh uh, kind of the path where they were going but obviously not knowing every single step exactly yeah yeah that's that's that that's kind of what i was getting at was like you know eventually you like uh you know start following their trail again right you know so Mm -hmm. um Everybody roll, uh, either you guys can search separately for tracks, individual survival rolls, or one of you can take the lead while the others, like, aid. And so um, the difference is either you all roll separately and see if any of you can just find the tracks, or two of you roll, and if you get above a 10... Uh, then, then the other guy uh, who's leading gets to roll with advantage. Uh, I'll help out Brian since I think he's wise because he's mm. yeah, a samurai. Yeah, that's fair. I, I actually end up looking for uh, um, my lost keepsake and just around uh, these ruins. No, no, no. Uh, I feel you're not. You're it. not. You're not here yet. Oh, Shh. Okay. You're back in. You're back in the camp. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. 
I say, I, I can look. I can look if you guys want. Um, why, why are we chasing them anyway? To murder them all! Uh, see, they the radar ahead. And, They've taken uh, two of us. They got some cool stuff, so I was just going with him. Oh, fair enough. I can help if you want. Sure, let's uh, let's take a look. I'll help you out, and you uh, you lead the way. Okay. So I'll do a survival. So, uh, yeah. Now you got it with advantage. Yep. Yep. Advantage. Advantage. <coughs> Bada boom. There you go. Yeah. So looking around, it's not too hard to find uh, you know, the trail of thirty plus orcs. So uh, you 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 manage to to spot where they've headed up into the highlands uh, of the of the jungle where it is said that you guys have to roll for history to get this bit of lore. Okay. Oh baby, who's a big intelligence? Yeah, you know that long ago, deep in these jungles... My oh, intelligence is bigger. Yeah, oh. ne ne never mind, Uza, whatever you were about to know is just like the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Tazco, you know uh, with certainty, because you have studied the ancient tomes, that this was the site of the ancient Yonti and lizard folk who worshipped dark uh, snake gods, and um, they they eventually got the continent split in two, and that's why South Tenkenarth is like half flooded and and a bunch of islands and everything because uh, uh, meteors rain down from the due to the dark uh, gods that these guys worshipped and uh, split the world asunder. And so they're headed into, like, bad juju territory. Hold up, boys. This is the temple of a dark god. Well, maybe he has some nice stuff, huh? I'd say those guys you're looking for could, could be hiding here. I say we press forward, but approach with caution. And be ready for an ambush at any moment. Okay, uh... But you're kind of big for approaching for course. Okay. Kuro's yeah. ro rolling in his caution, grave. caution, not like, stealth. Okay. He's like, they're cautious now. Kuro's rolling ever in his grave. <laughs> they're so cautious now. What's happening? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go up a little bit and then try to perceive what is in this building. Yeah, I'll, I'll... Are we on the map? No, I don't see shit. Yeah, yeah look down. The, bottom. the south. I don't see okay, much. I, huh? got, I got it. Yeah, I proceed too and just like look around for just anything interesting. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let, let me just, you know, quick tell you guys what you see here. Sure. You see a moss and vine covered ruins of ancient stone all marked with uh you know aztecian mayan like uh line symbols of snakes and winged snakes and uh suns and moons and uh lizard people and and just you know all kinds of of you know hieroglyphic kind of symbols you know um, and, and, uh, it is completely like ruined and toppled except for mm -hmm. there are still walls and, and these walls, I mean, let me tell you, man, for, for a ruin, they are some well-built sturdy walls that like have perfectly, uh, matched stone, you know, kind of like Machu Picchu. And um, they stand some 10 to 15 feet high at places still, even with as ruined and rubbled as it is. That stone archway in front of you, like, is easily several uh, multi-ton stones 
that were somehow lifted some 30 feet into the air to rest atop the the fallen arches now um in the in the center is a massive uh uh pedestal that obviously held something important at some time though it now stands empty and uh that's uh what you guys see okay sorry i i don't i don't have pre-written notes for that stuff i just i just always you know wing it because i know what i want to describe you know so like yeah I wasn't I sure if, the, if uh, that was like the whole totality of what I wanted there or not. Yeah, that's good. good. That's good for the hey, visual. Uh, you want to move ahead a little bit, and then when I get inside, I can see if there's anything magic around. Okay. So this uh, paladin guy looks pretty sturdy. Oh, as I'm getting close to the temple, I'm going to use an ability here. Uh... Uh, sense. Oh, I don't have an action for it. Uh, sense divinity. Ah, uh, yeah. This temple emanates with the aura of, uh, damn it, what the, I'm going to space on the name now. Um, Quetzalcoatl is the good half and then there's the other one, the dark serpent god. That one. Get it. God. Hmm. Spooky. Um, I'm going. Hey, you want to move forward just a bit? Uh, no. Is this guy scared? Or... Yeah, hold on. Uh, hold on. <laughs> he stopped and he started mumbling to himself. Everybody's like starting to push past him. He's like putting his arms out. Get, get back! <laughs> He's a cranky boy. Holy huh? shit! Uh, okay, let's go. I, I'm just looking, trying to look this up, but it's not bringing me. Uh. Oh, the dark god! I'm already on it. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get you the name in just a second. I I have the kind of brain where even if it wasn't important, I would still have to know because I can't remember, but I know I know. So, like, yeah. You just gotta look for it. I mean, uh, okay. So, strong evil registers in my senses, and I can determine if there's any undead or divine beings around as well. Yeah, no, no, no divine beings, but it, but it emanates with the, with the, you know. Uh, uh, dark power of um, Tezcatlipoca. Yeah, no wonder you couldn't remember that name. Tezcatlipoca. <laughs> fucked up. It's reeks of Tezcatlipoca. Tezcatlipoca. Lipoca. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? Very bad. Oh, polka. Tezcatlipoca. This okay. place reeks of Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> it reeks of poo poo. Oh, Legends Hotel. Wait, so why are we going in further? Uh, I want to take a look around. Take a look. All right, fine. Let's look around. I'm going to as uh, as you are looking around, roll for preception. Yeah, boy, see it all. Get ready for my you realize that all of the sounds of the jungle have gone completely silent. My Anyone perception. I'm, tr that I'm trying to click down. perception. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin struggles there, bud. Hey, you don't have to perception listen to Pasco. He just he just said perception he is the uh, number with the plus sign beside senses, right? 
perception is the one in your skills bar that says perception. Oh my yeah. god. Just yeah, that that, that that would be the listen. one. That was cool. Yeah, okay. okay. So, uh, yeah, does anyone else notice that it got really quiet and we can't hear the outside? Uh, now that you mention it. Could be bedtime for them. Uh, I draw my sword. Giving me an uneasy feeling. Purge this temple. Uh, if you guys want, we can go. Okay, I'm gonna... And search this place quickly and then uh, get Addle. Can I get it, like, here? And as soon as you peek around the corner. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. In the fuck? Motherfucking to... basilisk. To battle! Uh, roll roll for initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to look at the square. You can't wait. Yeah, I was going to do some investigating, too. Oh, All right. This is where I die, boys. Oh, my God. Four. Determined. Of course. I was, I was almost dying or dying. Never. Never. Uh, Where's my uh, initiative at? It's uh, beside your AC. May my blade be <laughs> fast as fuck, boy. Oh, my. Yeah, you fast as hell, boy. <laughs> Oh. Do I still have... There's my combat track. I think I still have Shield of Faith's effects on me. You can take it off. Yeah, wow. I know you would have... Lost. Oh, here, yeah, yeah let me take that. Banner. Yeah, let me take that off. Maybe your faith is that strong. Yeah, yeah your faith is just that damn strong. You now have a Remember? permanent Shield of Faith. Oh, is that the Basculus? It's OP! <laughs> that's what the basilisk sounds like. Yeah, yeah, that's that's my basilisk. <laughs> you tell him, Cronus. Cronus, is you a good boy? <laughs> nah. You like that? Yeah, it's good dog. Top sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a sassy boy. All right, All right. Tasco, yeah. You see something there? Yeah, so uh uh Tazco, you you as a free action I, can I shouted it like right away. Did yep. you shout it like let's battle like, Oh no, I heard, but like I'm I don't know if this guy is just full of shit. Full big, of shit or a little big shit. chicken a lizard thingy. Has a screw loose. <laughs> big chicken lizard. <laughs> can you go help him, please? <laughs> I feel like my character has been hesitant with religious folk in the past. <laughs> I know why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, after, after you, Tasco. Um, how 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 do, how far down is this drop from this ledge? Uh that's about a ten foot drop right there. Okay. So not yeah. enough to like hurt you per se, unless you were like pushed off and like fell prone or something. Mm -hmm. Like you can easily drop down, <clears throat> drop down. But getting back up is is not the easiest task in the world. Alright, um... You can move past him, can't you? Just give him a hug? I, I can. You can oh, squeeze yeah, past an to. ally, yes. Yes, the no. question is, do I want to? Oh, okay. Yeah. You'd be rubbing up I... against him. Yeah. But you know what they say. A little person. Rubbing is racing. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll let you go first, Tazco. Your, your shield's too bright. Are you a coward? Are you a coward? Oh, doesn't that go two ways? Why don't you charge in? You have all well, that armor. Why do you all think that... I'm leading? Why do you think I'm leading? Okay, I think it's been over six seconds of talking. All right. I'll just end my turn then. And the basilisk is going to kill you. True. Shit. Oh, you save and therefore are not uh, uh, restrained or petrified. Oh shit. Yep. Freaking basil. Damn it. 
But that was just my gaze. So uh, now I uh, uh, can uh, charge at you and bite you. So that's what I'm going to do. Do it. Do it. I'm I waiting. Am. You don't have to encourage me. Don't worry. I'm <laughs> going to get to you in good time. In a jiffy. No! Oh, wait. I'm sorry. No! No! Ha! <laughs> nice try, little chicken man. But I have the high ground. Not today. Chicken oh, nice. Man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, get back here. Chicken man. Now you're fighting back. up the stairs backwards oh, like you're in the Princess here. Bride. Right Naturally, you'd expect uh, me to use Vanetti's defense. Naturally. Uh, what? <laughs> What's that? All I know is how to kill things, okay? <laughs> <laughs> me see, me smash. Seemed gonna, only natural, uh, given the rocky terrain. <laughs> I'm gonna use my bonus action oh. Oh. to cast Hunter's Mark on Ooh. the Basilisk. Ooh, the fabled bonus action. Nice. And then attack it. And attacking? Oh, that's insane, Uza. Holy shit! No wonder you keep him around. He's pretty crazy. Oof. I hit it for a 16. Now slay this beast. N now that I have it distracted. <laughs> I'll try my best, boss, huh? Okay, I'm going to peek around the little corner there, give him a nice old little hexy. Wait, what? Then I'm going to peek around and give him a hex. Mm hmm And you remember how to uh, target and do all that stuff? Yes, sir. Uh, I love my veteran players. And then I'm going to give him the old uh, Eldritch Blaze. Oh, yes, I am. The Fabled. Leaning around the shoulder of the massive samurai armor in front of you, you unleash a blast of fiery Eldritch power at the Basilisk. Basilisk. <laughs> Whoa, you heavily damaged my basilisk, dude. Don't be doing that. Yeah, I don't like him. He smells like shit. Okay, it's your turn, samurai boy. Let's see what you got, huh? Don't let him move again. <laughs> I tend not to resort to violence, but you, this guy's just going around petri petrifying everyone. We can't have that. Just don't hit me with your fireballs. I got you, boy. I'm, I'm good. All right, I'll move up. You got advantage. And I'll go big boy strike. Ooh, he's a big boy, ain't it? Where's my sheet? Where's my sheet? And I'm targeting. Cool. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Whoops a daisy. <laughs> right, I shall end my turn there. Let that be a warning, Basil. You're exactly like our old warrior. <laughs> he would miss that as well. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Well, he had an old warrior? <laughs> yeah, I was prayed over his corpse when we met. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bad premonition only becomes stronger. <laughs> Uh, 
So I'm going to focus on the actual threat here, you know. <laughs> the big guy that clobbered you? The guy with 17 battle axes? <laughs> <laughs> Six consoles. It's just two battle, battle axes, a club, a long sword, <laughs> two shields. Yeah, okay. Two shields. Plate armor. I dropped the weak shield. Oh yeah, he did. But, the, the but, shield, he, but he's still he tied it to his leg. He's dragging it. Oh, <laughs> no. You were strange. Tasco. Tasco oh, no, starts to slowly fast. turn into stone. Oh well. And the basilisk turns around to see what that air breeze blowing past him was. <laughs> it is but a breeze. Oh, he just can't hit with his bite. No, he, he not, he not a chewy yeah, boy. Touch this. All right, so now you have to um, make another con save, I believe. Oh, I, I'm not actually pet. I'm not like fully petrified. Okay, okay. I don't believe so. Let me let me just I make think sure. It takes two turns if you fail two or three or something like that. It, it must repeat great. the saving throw at the end of its next turn. On a success, the effect ends. On a failure, the creature is petrified until freed by a greater restoration spell or other magic. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. I'm dead. This motherfucker is pissing me off. Huh? All right. How do I roll a one twice in a row? I don't know. Hmm. Should be still on him, but um, and then I'm going to cast Scorching Ray. The first one misses. The second one it misses, and then the third one hits. Praise be. And he does that plus two. There you go. Praise be. And then that is the end of my turn. You can kill it now. Just. Give it a nice one one time swing, huh? One time swing, this guy says. I got nothing but big swings. No, don't overdo it. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. So I swing for my mightiest of blows. Oh, wrong one, actually. It's about wrong. Roll the wrong dash. Nice. Nice. So I roll damage. And then open up that. Take this foul beast for turning our um, our paladin friend to stone. Jesus, man. Oh, what a hit. All right. Cut that shit in half. I cut that shit right off. Yeah, as your uh, samurai blade comes down on the basilisk's neck, its head comes clean off, and I am going to allow for a one-time D100 roll to see if you manage to cut its head off before its petrifying gaze could finish uh, Tazco completely off. Oh yeah. Normally I would have made it be on, on the round, but since you got it right before its turn. Beautiful. Eighty seven percent, yeah. So uh Tazco what do you want to have turned to stone? Either your face is now stone 
or one of your appendages, a hand, a leg, you know, something like that. Hmm. Well, if my face is stone, then I can't really breathe, can I? Well, I mean, you know, you 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 will you will basically be um like uh like uh the Let thing. See. So, you'll, you'll you'll be like the thing to where everybody will look at your face and be like, "What the fuck is with your face?" <laughs> yeah, but why? Why? Well, one of the I just couldn't see, breathe, or do anything because it's stone. Because muscles don't work when it's stone, so it had to be an appendage. No, no, that that's what I'm saying is I can't fight effectively if it. Well, I you you can still see, you can still breathe. <laughs> you just can't make expressions, and like everybody looks at your face, like holy shit, it's stone. What the hell? I think think of it as like a thin layer of stone. Yeah, you kind of look like it's the like thing. flexible a bit, but okay. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be a face then. Yeah. So now you are Tazco the stone faced. Or Tazco the Stoner. <laughs> so I find magic to get rid of it. Yeah, there's a there's a good wizard I've seen before. Yeah, he might be able to help you. Yeah. Ah! You saved my life. It'll you, cost uh, you though. I have nothing you to give. Nice, uh, Not for me. You got a nice the collection nice there, huh? What was that? I said you got a nice new complexion there, eh? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go over to what stone. I wanted to investigate before, and I want to investigate the stone, if that's okay. Um, so just for the record, you only need a lesser restoration to, uh, to cure this. Okay. Can you that not heal yourself, holy man? Pardon? I said, can you not heal yourself, holy man? Ha <laughs> ha I have not... I'm not quite powerful enough oh. at this moment in time. I'm investigating the stone in front of me. Roll the 20. Mm. In front of you is the pedestal that held something important. With a, with a, the shape of the something that I held? Not, not per se, but what you can discern is that apparently this pedestal was used as like a, um, like a, like a offering. And, oh. and so in, in the pedestal are, are slots Underneath the pedestal is a huge cavern filled with all of the offerings that have ever been made to this god. Oh, uh, so it's just an offering for a god. This is gross. Well, There's a see lot if there's of the... anything good in there. Well, I don't want to stick my fucking hands in there. So <laughs> I'm going to try something, huh? You have like a little stick? Yes, I'm going to go outside and find down. a fucking branch or something. Oh, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I'm Yo, gonna hold on. Oh, I'm up? going to... <sighs> Wait, no. As a pal and I don't have cantrips, do I? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, Wait, no, a... I, no, as a... As, 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 as a... What's, this, what's it called? Uh, Asimar, I have a uh, cast light, don't I? You, you tell me. Yeah. <laughs> tell me. I don't know your fucking <laughs> breed. <Yeah. laughs> oh, no. Uh, you need a light? I can give you a torch. I'm going to cast the, the light cantrip. Light cantrip. The light cantrip, so you can see. Look at if there's anything nice in that little dark hole there. Yeah. So as as you cast light on something and let it drop into the darkness below, um. All you see is like a long, long, long shaft for a long time. And then all of a sudden, from far below, you catch the glint of 
a massive treasure hoard. It's so far down that you can barely see it, but it is unmistakable how it ripples like sunlight across water all all for you know as far as you can see in every direction but you know understand that that's somewhat limited due to the shaft um, hello boys i'm just talking about shaft <laughs> it's good there's some uh, nice it looks like there's some horror some sort of treasure hoard down at the bottom of the shaft but uh no idea how they got that on there. Uh, <laughs> also, this is a sacrificial altar, so uh, might if be you no way. your head and hands down there, something might come out and fuck it up. So let's see. Let's investigate. Uh, I'm going to actually, with my investigation check, what I was seen uh, if it was trapped. Yes. Well, I mean, you would have seen traps up to a difficulty class 20. Yeah. It is tra- if there if there's a if there's a harder trap than that then no you didn't see it. If there's okay. a mega trap, I want to uh, my- grab one of these bricks and throw it in to see if any of the traps go off. Yeah, brick drops down just like uh, whatever stone or stick or whatever he cast light on to to go down there. You hear it hit the bottom and you hear the clink of coins and and uh, stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use perception to see if there's anything interesting in this upper room here. Or anything of note. Um, in that upper area there? Yeah, no, just more, more of the same, you know, ruins and everything. Can I collect okay. some of the Basilisk blood? Sure, but it's acidic. Okay, fuck that then. <laughs> well, can one of you big boys come? Uh, no, it's bleeding. Fuck. I want to try and maybe put some of its blood into this altar so it will open up or something. I, I think, I suspect. But it has trapped, so I think it needs something breathing to go in. Right, the thing. You want you want to throw the basilisk in there? You new guy. What? No, I'm I'm kidding. No, <laughs> don't listen to this one. Uh, yeah, maybe try that, but uh, I'm not very strong, so. I say I think it's pretty big. We might need all three of us, but I think uh, it's its blood looks pretty acidic. Can we do that safely? Yeah. See, that's the other thing. <clears throat> but. Um, maybe, maybe we grab some of these vines and tie it around it, and then pull. Well, how much rope do like we have? Like his bleeding with your like rope fire. Might burn. The standard unit of rope is fifty feet. Yeah, I could so do that. I have fifty feet. Okay, I'm gonna. We all have fifty. Use, okay. I'm gonna use produce flame. Which is just a cantrip to try to, uh, like, pretty much put it on the ground next to him, and then use control flame to uh, try to cauterize the wound so we don't get burned by the acid. Did you do? Not only is the blood acidic, but it is slightly flammable. Nah. And and it reacts like uh like uh damn it um that uh silver metallic powder substance that thermite it, oh shit it reacts like thermite and just begins to burn uncontrollably not incredibly like fast or big or anything like that but just like you right. can't put it out yep. and, and it just consumes the body as it just burns away fuck sorry guys i thought i had a good idea yeah, it's worth a shot well i think we should maybe just move on this is uh, i don't want to sacrifice any of us oh. to get the treasure even though That's i want fair. it so you think there's any like secret passageways here or anything? 
I've wandered for the lands. Lovers, buttons. I've, I've wandered the lands many times and stumbled into. It. I got a good investigation on this thing, so I don't know if this thing has any levers or buttons on it. Well, is there anything no, anywhere else? Though? No, no levers or buttons or anything like that. It's just a, a giant shaft down and then a giant cavern hundreds of feet below. Yeah, but there's those two. There's that like little fucking altar thing on the top that looks like it should be for blood or something, right? No, it looks like it held something. It doesn't necessarily mean oh, that okay. it was for blood. Yeah, it looks like it held something, so maybe... It could have been a statue, could have been a sacrificial altar, could have been, you know, lots of things. It's it's a pedestal that, that you know, uh, held something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna... Good. I could search the outside of the building, I'm gonna too. put my club on top of it. It's a nice, flat surface, so... Yes. Also, it's got kind of an incline, and it's like 10 feet up, so you do have to make a, a climb check to get up there. Okay, I'm going to make a climb check to get up there. Climb. Yeah. So, uh, it's a little slippier, slippier, slipperier more slippery than than you had at first anticipated and you keep sliding down okay i toss my club up there it lands up there well well there's nothing uh of important up top there so let's uh look somewhere else onwards Yes. Did, did we want to look outside? Or are we just ditching this place? Um. Uh. Is there? Okay, so we already. Is there we, any? Hmm. It's pretty much investigated this whole place, right? Like, is there like, any uh, like statues or like? Statues of the evil god carvings or anything? There's carvings, no statues. Okay. Can't fucking do that thing yet until right there. Can I search the uh, exterior of the ruins for anything of interest? Yeah. Any doorways or anything of interest? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, I don't think I see shit. <laughs> well, it's time to pack up our bags. Yeah, maybe we should go find some orcs, huh? Yeah. You I mean, I, I, yeah, those guys God, are long gone. Orcs. I, you know, I kind of put two and two together. I guess I was wrong. Feels bad, man. <laughs> They could have stopped by here, but uh, nothing here but a basilisk. Okay. Can we just uh, keep heading in the direction that we saw? Yeah. 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 So, so, you know, you guys can either go try and, and re-pick up the trail, you know, wherever wherever the orc's trail leads. Or, you know, you can continue to search the area. Like, uh, you know, for, for more stuff. Because I, I want to be clear that I wouldn't have the treasure down there if there was no possible way to get it. Of yeah. course. But I think it, we just kind of like... I can say... I tried looking around outside, guys. I don't know if... I, just in case. I, I, I'm not saying, like, keep going for the treasure. Because, like, you know, I'm not above doing red herring quests either. So, so like, you know, it, it could be just a way to sidetrack you guys from the orcs. It could be an actual, you know, side quest that is, that is, you know, worth pursuing. I just want to be clear that it wouldn't be there at all if there wasn't more to be had if you want it. Yeah, of course. Uh, I just sure. think Uzo thinks that he can't find anything. Um, so he just... 
he's already uh, got pretty good success with killing some orcs. So. Yeah, yeah. I you would have been more interested in finding this uh, way down. I am yeah. pretty interested in it, but I've yeah. looked around and I've. He thinks he's done his best. So. See, my guys, my guys, not really too interested with the orcs, so I'm not really pushing for that too much. Um, if you guys want to, I'll tag along. Um, I'm primarily interested in the orcs, so you know, I did a small yeah. look. It's like, oh uh, well, too bad. So sad. Let's uh, try to pick up the trail. Yeah. Let's do it now. All right. So uh, that means we're we're back to rolling survival checks to see what we can see. See, these guys are probably long gone, guys. I can keep trying to find the tracks, but the other sure side of the mountain. Should we just try to head to a town and get information, or town? I say we look. I say. What does that mean? <laughs> look for the tracks. Yeah, I, I, I say yeah. we look for the tracks, and if we can't find anything, go to a all town right. to get some information. How about that, huh? Yeah. We can do all of it. Did you wanna assist me again, Uza? Yo, which uh, way is the closest town? That's the next question. But like, don't you have a map? No, I never had a map. One of the other guys did. Well, my yeah. guy had a map. My old guy. <laughs> Oh, you left it on the corpse, you dunces! It. I'm talking to your characters, not you guys as players. That's fucking perfect. If it's my current character not to have a map, I'm just wondering. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll just make a survival check, and if we don't do anything... Uh, you we'll you just... two didn't North. bury him, didn't do nothing, you're just like, Oh, we'll pray over him and take off. Hey, by the way, where are we? I don't know, didn't somebody have a map? <laughs> well, I didn't know they doesn't know that they have a map. What? I never I used it. Yeah. Oh, you're right, you're right. That no, was before, yeah, yeah that was that. before Uza, yeah. True, true. That's all I to ask. <laughs> I, I forgot how, how much of a turnover there's been with the PCs in this game. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, here, I'll, I'll help. Shit. Oh, you're going to help? So well, like, roll. by help, I'll do my individual. Okay. Everyone's just going to roll individuals. All right, 13. Yeah, so unfortunately, the trail has gone very cold. Fortunately, again, 30 orcs leave quite a trail. So um, as, as, of, as of right now, uh, you guys can, can tell that they were here, but they've like gained even more ground on you at this point. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you're following the trail and, uh, eventually you have to rest. So here's where we got to have you guys, um, um, subtract a ration and, and, uh, Oh, don't forget to subtract two rations, one for the last long rest and one for this rest. And um, the only difference is, is you can choose not to long rest to try and gain ground on them uh, and just take a short rest and eat the rations. Or you can choose not to eat any rations. You'll still have to eat the one for the last long rest. Not to eat any rations, not to take any rest, and then you have to start making constitution saves or start taking... Uh, we, just sleep? we just slept before we got here. Like eight yeah, hours. yeah, but now you're walking. And, yeah. and walking really and walking. Okay, yeah. So, so, yeah, let's just take the rest and just keep going after that. Yeah, my character wants to take the rest. I'm not too uh, <laughs> crazy about following the orc, so... A short rest? I don't know. I guess. Short rest or is this a long rest? It's your guys' choice. If you take the short rest, you can gain ground on the orcs. If you take the long rest, you're not really gaining any ground. If you don't rest at all, you can practically catch up to them, but then you risk being exhausted. Yeah. and Should do the short rest and keep going. Oh, if it, yeah. My character feels if it's uh, the normal time for a long rest, I, I'd vote for long rest. Well... We're on, we're on the hunt. You can you can take your long rest after. 
So we're on the hunt, but as you know, a warrior should all, you know, always be uh, well rested. You know, the mind has to be as sharp as the blade. And there can be no blade if there is nothing to bite into. Oh yeah, there either can be, but. <laughs> Uh, if you guys insist, we can, but uh, if I get any more tired, I'm just going to pass out. When I'm tired, I sleep. What are we doing? Short. short. Okay, short rest it is. I am going to go ahead and apply the short rest to you guys. I mean... I don't think it actually matters, but, you know, just in case. It does for me. I I used a spell slot. Oh, true. True. Two. I better get them back. Truers. So how long that, how long is it? Yeah, I got my, my extra spell slots gone now, I guess. But whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Your extra spell slot is now gone. But now you guys, you know, take a quick little rest, eat a ration, you know, make sure that you're, you're not, uh, you know, completely passing out and you, and you march through the night in order to gain ground on the orcs. Now everybody roll a constitution check. We didn't need to do that. No, that was for taking damage. Yeah, that's what he was saying. That's why I was like going for the long rest. I was like, you guys. Oh, okay, I would have done long rest. That's, that's why my guy wasn't really into it. I didn't really care about the orcs that much. It's just level one exhaustion. It's disadvantage on uh, ability checks. You know, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Yeah. We good. In character wise, though, my guy's like, it's not really for me. It's not, it's not what I love. It's just right. a regular contra, right? Con yep, ju just a con saving throw. <sighs> nope, con save. Where, save. Where's the con save again? Just on oh, the I other found side. It, I found it, yeah, thank you. Oh my god, of course. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. The master of saving. Oh. Well, don't, don't worry, I'm going to count your first roll, which was actually a success. Shiru, Good you are so like energetic and capable of pushing on that when uh tazco starts to get a little tired i will let you uh roll one more time and if you get above a 10 you guys uh neither one of you has level one exhaustion if you get below a 10 you you burned out your energy trying to help him oh it's a pep talk of pep talks i know i know it, it, it's quite the dilemma like you're guaranteed success right now but you're so full of energy that you feel like you could help him but if you help him and you and you don't do it right you're both going to be exhausted but if you help him yeah. and you do it right neither of you are exhausted wait so I can, do, I can do that now if if you choose to take that risk, you may do it now. Also, you can do it, Tesco. Oh yeah, you can. That's what I'm talking about. Say, lift your spirits up and your blade higher. Your words have inspired courage inside of me. I will press on. I like Full it. speed. And I hand him a cup of my uh, matcha tea I brewed. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a very, very <laughs> pugnant and, and, ugh. I drink all my tea black. <laughs> I like my tea like I like my heart black. <laughs> yeah. And onwards. Yeah, so you guys do press on. And now you've been able to steal a night's march on the orcs. And in the distance, in the daylight, you can see a campfire rising from a, a shallow copse of trees in this jungle. 
Ah. I say we march on directly and catch them unawares. Uh, With a rallying cry. I say no. Uh. (laughs) Say we've made it this far. Take the lead. Ugh, god damn it. No, let's not run in and say, hello, here we are. Uh, Let's pervade the area and see. They fear us. They ran like cowards. We have the advantage. Or we could study the area and get accumulated with it and not get fucked. (laughs) To get fucked or not to get fucked? You guys gonna flip a coin or something? Yo, I vote for down the middle, but that's just my vote. I'll go with... Alright then, dude. Here we can, uh... How about we let fate decide and you guys can flip a coin? All right, go for it. Down the middle's never failed us once. Coin, okay. dude. You're doing the coin? All right. Why don't you guys roll like a d4 or something? Pick odds or evens? Okay, I'll roll a d4 and I'll pick odds. Uh, you know that if you right click on the dice, it'll give you custom dice. Um, so like if you right click, Click on the on the D six. Odds even kind of it works. And then works and well. then uh, you click on custom dice. It has a D zero, a D two, mm. and a D three. So if you take the D two and yeah. roll it, then you know one or two. Yeah. Okay. Well then, there you go. I got one. So let's pervade the area. Okay. All right. Fate has decided for us not to die today. <laughs> All right, we're going to just take a good intake of the area while they're all down in there and uh, try to, you know, find a good route of escape and a good route of in and all that shit. And secret hidden flaming katana blades, if there's any. Do we need to roll for that? Or what? Uh, okay, so... You guys are, are, you know, checking out the area and seeing if they've set any traps and all of that. So you're going to have to roll for um, two things. I, I assume you're trying to be stealthy to avoid any scouts they might have out. Mm-hmm. So stealth. And then the other one would be uh, for survival to check for, you know, traps and, and things of that nature. Did you want us to all go, uh, Uza? Or uh, just, you... just, just let me do it, all, all right? right. Probably good. The armor's right. noisy. I cast Divine Sense to see if there's anything within 60 feet. Celestial Undead Fiend. Yeah, no Celestials, Undeads, or Fiends. Actually... Get a 13 on my stealth. You do get a faint sense of something from uh, Uza's ring. Uh, got that before, I, right? Divine Sense lets, like, I know what it is. I don't know if it's like a named creature or anything, I just know what it is. Right, so. but because this isn't quite in one of those neat little categories, you just get a sense that, like, you know, there there's something powerful in his ring. It's not any of those things that you mentioned. Yeah, so um, I shouldn't be able to sense it then. Yeah. Yep, but I, I'm saying that you can. Okay. Uh, so, Strange. stealth, and then, okay, I got 13 for stealth, and then you want, uh, what is survival? Yes. 11. Okay, so, uh, you know, you're, you're pretty stealthy, and you don't run into any scouts, but you also don't find anything in particular. Uh, as you do, like, scout the area as best you can, though, uh, you can tell that this is indeed the orcs, and there are indeed uh, at least two dozen of them. All right. <laughs> yeah, we could ease, we could take them, we could take them. Uh, go back to those two and say, I don't think this is uh, 
guys to go head on in. There's uh, roughly two dozen of them down there, and I know we're strong, but I don't think we're that strong yet. So how about we uh, wait, and then when maybe if they go in packs, or if they all march together, then we're just going to have to kill off the stragglers, or... Take out the patrols and stuff like that. You say and follow from a distance so we can discover the main pack. You're a genius! And make them disappear slowly. I don't think this is more of a uh, pick off the slow and wait kind of thing. Okay. I see, I see. I can live with that. And then the survivors that will lead us to where... We need to end up. Yes, sure. You guys really don't like to stay wait <laughs> until they, Well, I want to wait until they leave and wait until if there's any like guys that stay back to pack up or something like that, then we can try to ambush them. If not, we'll just keep trying to follow them. I just keep sipping my tea. Yeah, so... Uh... You know, as you guys are kind of uh, watching and waiting to see uh, what the what the orcs do, um, you see that instead of packing up and moving on, what they are actually doing is uh, sending out a couple of orcs in in a couple of directions you don't know what their purpose is but the rest of them stay put oh okay let's um follow the one of the orcs in the directions well the couple of orcs in the directions until they're out of pretty much earshot of well not out of earshot but like out of a good since between the camp and them, so then we're not attracting everyone with us running in and cutting their heads off and shit like that. Yeah, well, uh, here's the deal with that. Here's the deal, Sparky. Uh, so when it comes to these orcs, they got packed up and began sprinting full speed out of the camp. Okay, let's, uh... So you can chase after them, but you won't be able to do it stealthily. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, that's... What I was thinking of is, uh, trying to follow their trail at a stealthier pace, um, not trying to catch up to them, but maybe seeing the trail that they go ahead and then just waiting for them to maybe come back or, you know, just try to path them out. Yep. So if that's what you guys want to do. That's what I'm for. I'll convey it to those guys as my plan to see if they agree. So I'm just tagging along. I cannot wait to stain my blade with their blood. Okay. Uh, Where else to be? All right. This guy seems cool and he's just hungry as fuck. Um, <laughs> so we'll just do that. Okay, so uh, they're they're running so fast that you don't even have to roll for survival to follow their trail. Like it's it's mm-hmm. plenty easy. Um, but you know this also means that that they're you know gaining quite a bit of ground on you. Yeah. And so. Uh, you guys follow, and it's a whole nother day again. Okay, well, I was thinking um, when they get out of range of, like, the whole kind of camp, for the whole camp to hear us, then we'll start running. Okay. Um, not, like, kind of, like, slow at the start, and then more of a trying to catch up speed afterwards, because I don't want to, like, alert the whole entire fucking 24 of the other orcs to, to us. I kind of... It's fine if we alert the little pack to turn around, but I don't want to alert the 24, you know. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so, so, um, you mm-hmm. are are following the the orcs until you're, you know, like you said, uh, far enough out of camp that you feel, you know, confident that that they're not going to just hear you. Mm-hmm. And and uh, then. Um, you start running. So, what you are going to need to do is roll for constitution saves, or checks, to, uh, avoid, um, well, to keep running, basically. Okay. Uh, constitution and not athletics. No. Um, so yeah, Let me show off how fast I am. If it was, if it was a race, absolutely athletics, but it's more of a marathon because they're already in front of you. Fuck. Uh, uh, So, uh, Shiru and Tazco, you guys, you know, you got this. You know what you're about. And, and, uh, you're, you're just, you know, setting a good pace. You're not, you're not trying to overwork yourselves and, and go at a full clip right off the bat and burn yourselves out. However, uh, Uza... You cannot keep up with them even in their heavy armor. <laughs> and so you're having to keep pushing yourself harder and harder and harder. And um, unfortunately, you burn yourself out. And so now you guys have a choice. Stop and take a short rest so that uh, Uza does not uh, take one rank of of uh, exhaustion, or keep going. But now he'll be taking uh, disadvantage on on the check because he'll have one rank of exhaustion already. Or third option, I look straight over to the samurai and I say, "Could you hold a ring for me?" Can you hold a ring for brother? Uh, I, I can. Uh, I, I turn to look at Shiro and say, it's probably for the best. And probably I for the best. And why don't you hold the ring? Because I get to go inside and not die while you guys are running. Oh, you can go inside it? You saw me do it before. Oh, no, I, I don't know what you did. You disappeared. Yes, he did. You saw me at the start. No, I said I saw Shiro, you. Shiro hasn't. No, no. He no, I saw it. I saw it, but I don't know what he was doing. He never explained. He just kind of disappeared. Yeah. I said I had to go in here for a second, but yeah. So I assume you're explaining now. I guess I missed that. I go inside the ring. I don't have to go far. I can hear outside of the ring. I get inside the ring. All right. I'll stick you in my bag. Okay. I'm going to fucking put the ring on on his side bag and then go inside while he runs. Yep. All right. So now just you two make your second con checks. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Watch out, Tasco. I, <laughs> I, <used to, laughs> I used to run around the village, Tasco. Let me show you how it's done. Where am I at? Oh, God. Yeah, you did. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, now Tasco is, is at level one of exhaustion uh, unless you guys take a short rest. I say, Tazco, can you go inside your shield like he did his ring? I I'll just, pop out I, the ring after I see this. <laughs> just uh, stick a Fuck stick. off. Is there room <laughs> for two in the ring? I can keep going. I'm going to keep going, too. This is nothing. So All right, so, yeah, run? take take disadvantage on this next check. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go back inside, then. Just fucking right. <laughs> if you go any slower, Tazco, we're taking a break, huh? I go for a rest, even though I can keep running. I like my sleep. 
And we're rolling another save. Yep. Bada bing. I'm fine. Oh. <laughs> Huge. Nice. Yep. You guys are fucking. Yep. He, he digs cool. deep and finds his third wind. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I didn't know there was an advanced level of second wind. <laughs> I will teach you one day, young samurai. Oh, you honor me, humble master. <laughs> so, uh, now, now there's only two more checks no, left no. to catch up with the orcs. Uh, here's your fourth check. Still at disadvantage, unfortunately, Tazco. You knew. He's good. I give a shit. Uh, let's go. Oh my god. No, 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 19. And the last checks to catch up to him. Here we can. Uh, we can do a Tashko. Oh! <laughs> Alright, I, I can't let this party down now. Uh, that's still alright? Ho holy shit, that's, that's alright. All oh my god. So, yeah. You guys. <laughs> not only, like, catch up to the orcs, but the orcs are so, like, exhausted after, like, hearing you guys coming, they, like, started to sprint, but you guys just, like, were, were, were those Ethiopians at the end of a marathon where, like, they've, they've just been going the whole time, and then they see the finish line, so they just turn it on, you know? <laughs> And it's and it, we run past them. <laughs> yeah, and and it's and it's like what you know you you were already like you know going at an impossible pace, and now you're like sprinting. What you know? And so you run so fast that you draw your swords and cut them down before they before they ever get a chance to defend themselves. Kill them. <sighs> my blade is fast, but my legs are fast. Get out of my ring and be like, "What the fuck happened?" Okay, boys. Uh, I think while we you were sleeping, killed them before we could get information out of them. While you were sleeping, I was oh, studying shame. the blade. While <laughs> you were partying, uh, at least we got some, you know. Um, so I'm gonna search their bodies for any information. Yeah. So on their bodies, you see uh, a bag of assorted coins and gems and a note written in orcish look i don't have it yet Can <laughs> anyone read orcish mm. i have it yet so or this language i should I say look at anyone it and read I say this no. strange language i say no uh, <sighs> useless is this uza guy uza you speak no, that oh, i can't mm. see it yet. you look like a this man of information is useless Give me just one second, guys. I'm going to take a bio break if you guys need one, too. Um, otherwise, I'm still listening. I can hear everything you say. If you want to role play out this little part here, and then I'll get you started on, you know, what comes next with more info. Cool, cool. You, I sense a strange power in your ring. You know, Maybe but... that power can figure this out. Oh, he cannot. Mm. He's not that so nice. there is something in there. Yes, I, I broke told you i already said to you when we, how about your we shield can your shield do anything i don't know what this fucking shield can do we'll try i think it's been 24 hours has it been 24 hours? it doesn't mean i know what it can do yeah yeah it's been 24 when you attend uh, to it you'll get the note shine it shine it at the note <laughs> If uh, I know what it does, then no, this can't. Well, you don't know what it does help. until you use it. Uh, I don't think that's what that's for. Um, I didn't know you're a man of magic. Yes, and you didn't see me produce fire out of my fucking hand. You didn't see him fucking go into the ring. Are you? Are you simple, sir? <laughs> I guess that's a good point, but. Uh... You don't seem like a wizard. Not a wizard. Uh, you see the sand fucking veil, dude? Yeah, it doesn't mean they're a wizard. How does that not scream magic? There's magic, but there's not 
uh, understanding I'm not, I'm arcana. Not a, I'm not a wizard, although I do have a tome, and I click, and I have the tome in my hand. Well, can you figure out what a shield does, then? Mm, I have to get more knowledge just from my mm. patrons before I do that. Sorry, oh. I click. So what you're saying is we need a training montage. So I say <laughs> we burn these bodies after... Yeah, let's just burn these bodies. There's nothing good on them. And uh, we're fine. Gonna... It has been 24 hours. You automatically know all the properties. Once you attune, you are attuned, and therefore you know the properties. I know everything about the shield. It's in me now. It's in me now. Life. It's in me now. Every it's crevice. Me now. It is now an extension of my arm. That's right. And no, it, it cannot help. <laughs> I sure. told you. Uh, but yeah, um, I'll just uh, produce flames and burn the bodies. So then uh, there's. Before that, is, do they have any armor that is uh, better than one I have chainmail? They're orcs. Yeah, the orcs don't have better armor if that's what you're asking. Damn, yeah, that's what I was wondering. Uh, I'm waiting for that full plate, you know? Oh, you never, we didn't ask. We could have had a full plate. They're kind of humanoid. Yo, they're, they're, they're sprinting. They don't have full plate, dude. Maybe that's why we caught up? No. Look at, look at Wait, me. you're sprinting. In. No, you guys caught up because you rolled amazingly. Yeah. We have spirit, Pasco. And we got thighs. All right, I guess we can uh, walk back, and maybe if they send another uh, few down this trail, we can jump those motherfuckers too, huh? Oh, and by the way, it's uh, 350 gold pieces worth of gems and another 100 gold pieces worth of okay. assorted coinage. I never took off the gems, and I didn't tell anyone about them. I don't care about money anyways. So now they're burning, I like. I said there's nothing of value on them because as a paladin, I don't value currency very much. <laughs> I just roam the lands, you know. Because you're a paladin of Tyr, I'll, I'll, I'll accept that since Tyr is way more warlike and less concerned with donating, you know, to charity and all that. But if you were a paladin of like a more charitable god, then, you know, you don't have to take it, but like it would be useful to give to those, you know, more needy. Give it to the church. I'll give you that one. <laughs> um, yeah, my guy, my guy's more interested in functional things. So, hey, we share something common, huh? Oh. Coins and gems can be used to purchase functional things. That's, Very indirect. True. That's indirect. There's uh, only one gem that I have my if eyes on. If one of you guys want to carry it for now, it's fine. But the only I I, gem I have my eyes on is diamonds. <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah, Are you going to say the love of your life? Uh, I'll carry it. You, no, it's already burning the bodies now, though, yeah, aren't they? We, I never told you about gems. It doesn't, like, Are you going to wait for uh, all of the things to burn no, out? You don't know that there's coins and gems on them because I never said anything about it. But I'm burning the bodies and they're in a sack. So it's going to come out of the sack after I burn them. But are we really going to wait for this to burn? Yeah, I'm not standing around waiting for the bodies to turn. To it takes a long time. Long time. Flames, which means I can snuff them out. All right, if we wait here any longer, I'm just saying. Let's take, no, take a long rest. You don't know that it's there. I, I literally told, I told you that it, there was nothing on them. Hey, to be fair, though, he might, might be curious what's on there now, though. I think you, it's common people to carry possessions. I don't care. Let's just keep heading back. <laughs> all right. Oh, Here, you back guys, to? you guys are hurting Ooze's feelings. All this gold and everything being left behind every which way. It'd be worse with his old character. Yeah, <laughs> Way worse with one. But Lone would have just ready. Yeah. Lone would have jumped through the fire and flame. Yeah, it just <laughs> burned and stuff. So fucking no evidence. All right, yeah, um, so uh, there was still a couple more, you know, groups of orcs who headed out, but uh, you guys head back and, and uh, you know, take up a position, you know, watching the orc encampment once again. Uh, I thought it, we were standing along the trail waiting for more to come by. We're going back to where that was, that's what he means. Okay, okay. 
Because I, I don't relish chasing another group. Mm-hmm. I'd rather wait for that's, them to come into us. You know? Yeah, that's what I was trying to convey. Yeah, well, the only point that you know of is the point of origin for the other groups. Cause yeah, they... yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So, um, when, when uh, you guys get back, it's dark. It's time to rest for sure now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my guy just passes out. I'll take first watch. And then, uh, yeah, I'll take first watch. My guy just passed out before before anything was planned. Yeah, he he didn't even wait for watch to be set. He's like, whatever. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Or I shouldn't take first. Don't worry. I'll take first. Don't worry about anything. If you want to take first, never mind. If, uh... Wake up, Shira. Wake up this guy if you, for second watch. You can be last, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take first watch. Good watch, we do. Good watch, we do. Okay, just getting the next map. Okay, and so uh, whoever's on watch first, go ahead and roll your perception. No, 14. Austin Sims gone and Iran a bone. Nice way to start a journey. No tech shams. All right, so you uh, see that the orcs are, you know, more of a nocturnal bunch and they're more active right now. Are they heading our way then? Nope, they're just moving about the camp more. Moving them back. That'll be good information for later. And then I guess my watch is over. Or... And now his watch is ended. Okay, I'm going to wake up the samurai boy. Hey, uh, it's your turn to give us a little watch, huh? Uh, uh, how, how long has my guy slept at this point? About four hours no less than that uh three hours uh, so i can try but i might fall asleep well don't do that okay <laughs> yeah let's see if i uh if i roll below a 10 I'll fall asleep, but if I'm above, so yeah. <laughs> you put yourself in disadvantage. Pretty much. Oh my god. Oh, oh my yeah, my guy passes out. Yep. <laughs> okay, so uh Wow. Right by an orc account. I'm not too I don't really That's after really running much. though. That's after running so straight, especially with my like I was running like a madman. True that. Didn't even get it's not even that it's like impossible for me to stay up. It's just the uh, my guy loves sleep. And I didn't. It's not that it was impossible for me to stay up. I just didn't. Yeah, and, uh, I just wanted to sleep. I was like, oh. I was like, we'll probably be fine, right? Yeah, sure. 
So, uh, as you guys are all asleep, you are suddenly awakened, awokened, awokened, awokened. <laughs> Orc blood. Does his snoring, does your snoring wake yourself up? <laughs> No. What if the whole chase was just a dream? I've been sleeping the whole time. <laughs> yeah, you guys are suddenly awakened by several orcs and goblins trying to sneak up on you. I woke up. <laughs> Who dares wake up my beauty sleep? We're all last, all great. <laughs> Gork and goblin blood! The slu- oh, wait, what, what? So go ahead and roll for initiative to I see just I... how screwed you are. Yeah. Tashko, Tashko, you fell asleep! I wasn't on watch. Can I try to persuade him? <laughs> no, you can't. You don't know that. No, yeah, you, you can't. It's firm in my mind. It's <laughs> firm in your mind. Irrational. We all go at the same time, at least. Yeah. Got the good old 79. Do we have reaction if they're coming up on us like this for our first turn? Nope. Okay. You are asleep. We should have pretended to be asleep. Yeah, kick yeah. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Remind me to punch you after this is over. <laughs> ha ha! I'm good for a bra. Uh. You guys are rude. Rack a wow. Oh shit, he's doing his rack attack. Hate that attack. Aha! Aha! Oh shit! Uza, you leap to your feet. Um, can I move behind where Brian is so I don't get opportunity? Ah, uh, no, that's a cliff. Yeah, I know. I was just wondering if I could bot use his body to scooch past. Oh, you can squeeze past him, yes. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Fireball, Amuza. So yeah, that's my max movement. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to... Run away some more. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's, 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 he runs away in the distance. Good luck, you guys. Now he can run. <laughs> yeah, the the orcs and goblins. All they find is a ring in the middle of the jungle somewhere. <laughs> Dude, all my spells just went away. Oh, Where shoot. did all my spells go? He okay. forgot them. Okay, as soon as I hit edit list, they came back. That's fucking. I'm gonna use the hex effect on the um, orc in the back. Uh, oh shit, bad boy, orc Fuck one. And hit him with the dex, and then I'm gonna hit him with the old eldritch blast. Hell yeah. 
Eldra Blast. Hit him. <clears throat> and that's what I got. Is what I got. Okay. In my fatigued, blind rage, I step forward to here. Oh. And oh. And then Frisky. light starts streaming out of every pore and edifice of my body. Cool. I don't think I actually have a spell for this. <laughs> Is this your ASMR thing? Yeah, my radiant consumption. <laughs> so that's all Which is. You can use your action to unleash divine energy, searing light, transformation. You shed light. On each of your turns, you and each creature within 10 feet of you take radiant damage equal to half your level. Yeah. Not much. <coughs> oh, excuse me. They take 1.5 damage? Rounded up, so 2. 1.69. Fifth edition is rounded down. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. It says equal to half your level rounded up. Oh, it does say rounded up. Oh, and that's an exception to the typical fifth edition rule for rounding. Rounding down. Okay, and then you can also deal, I deal actually the damage the with an yeah. attack or spell once per round as well. Okay, uh, so give me just one second. I believe this lasts a full minute, and it doesn't. It's not concentration. Yeah, it's one minute. It's a transformation for one minute, so it's no. Con I read about this one before. It's really cool. I've read the forms. Well, I spend a lot of time just reading on this stuff, just because it's interesting to me. And then Jason Magic, and he was this kind of ASMR. I looked it up. Oh, oh, fair enough. You will all burn in the light of my father before me. Oh, one second. And I read all the way home. <laughs> Are we sure this guy's not the evil one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's in the eye of the beholder. Huh? Yeah, clearly. Wait, we can't say that. The uh, DMTA. I have the beholder. I have the redacted. Hold, hold on, hold on. I have the five dollar. I'm, get, I'm getting there. Oh, you're not rolling for that. It, no, this is a, this is a flat I thing. A, yeah, it's all good. I rolled randomly. <laughs> Random rolling. Uh, did they get a save or it's just no? It's just you force everything within yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just like everything. Radiate. There's a twenty foot radius of light, and everything within ten radius takes damage. Very well. Elijah. Yeah, it's it's t bright light, ten feet, dim light, an additional ten feet. I can see. And uh, there you go, Shiro. You are within ten feet of me. Oh, sorry. What do I get? Oh, I get shoved. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Damn it. See, I told you, default is, is half. Is rounded down. Uh, so, got to round this up. So, how do I do that? You take damage. Well, let's see when I press the button, see what happens. There you go. Press the button. Okay, so now, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, don't press no buttons. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, 
target yourself and everybody within the range that uh, you want to fuck up. Uh, mm. Nope, they're actually not within range. See how it says 10? 10 feet. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, right. oh, oh, they're they're measuring. I got it. Yep, yep. You're good. You're good. You're good. Then this other goblin here, he ain't in range. Nope, he's 15. Ah, got it. Perfect. All right. You've, you're all over it. Good man. The yeah, four. I, I, I checked. See, 15 right there. Yep. No, good man. All right. So uh, go ahead and uh, you, you targeted yourself too. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, yep. Now, now go ahead and drop that damage right into the, into the thing. <laughs> you could have let me have my turn, Tesco. Oh, I killed the yeah. goblin. Nice. Dude, don't kill yeah, my I, goblin. What? As the... a bonus action, I'm gonna target myself with healing hands. Nice. Why are you killing my goblin, dude? He started it. We were just sleeping. Let's just sleeping. Huh? What to do? What to do? Murder him. Murder him with poison, you say? <laughs> I didn't say with poison. <laughs> this this samurai is a bit different. He doesn't he like it. He likes the fucking poison, I guess. Poison them all, dude. Um, Stand next to me and fight, coward. Carry my ass. I don't want to stand next to you. I was already standing close it's enough. It's just a bit of bright light. Yeah, a bright light. That's how you get freaking eye damage. <laughs> Alright, I'll attack this goblin here because uh, he made weird noises at me. Comfortable? Uncomfortable. <laughs> tried to touch me without consent. Yeah, this guy is not about consent. Ew, fuck him. He shall know my blade. The power of my sword. And you know I'm going big boy attack. There you are. Uh, take this, Valbeez! <laughs> you missed. Oh, damn, dude. Alright, then, um... What? Why do you always go uh... for the big attack? He yeah, always God, goes dude. And he says it's alpha. You gotta go every big, dude. Does. Minus five. <laughs> never stop going big dick, boys. Miss every attack. You always yeah. got it, boy. Um... What is she? What is she <laughs> how, how much health am I down? I guess I'll second wind it. Second wind. Whew. How much health are you down? Nine? Nine, yeah. Why would you second wind for nine? Don't forget to target yourself. Yeah, yeah, Un Don't target yeah. the goblin. Un Untarget the goblin. Oh, thank you. Oh, this guy's just as good as the other one. Targets it himself it, and the goblin it, when he it, swings, a, and he targets. You're, you're still targeting the goblin. Okay. This is meta. Yeah, you got to know that. Now target yourself. Oh shit! I got to target myself. Now, okay. now rub that healing all over yourself. Rub that heal. Seven. Right, seven. That seven, shall be seven. my turn. All right, time to get critted. Or two critical killer. Oh, piling on the pally. He did blind them. True. He missed. Not oh. goblin one. <laughs> Can't even touch this. Mm. Oh shit! Yakaka! These guys in their yakatas. Yakatua. Oh. Oh. You can't say that, Uza. That's a forbidden um... word. Untouchable. Ungullible. Ungullible. Not even gullible. Literally ungullible. Literally, literally. So, I'm still good to go, so I'm just going to keep messing you up, if you don't mind. 
Go for it. They wouldn't. They shouldn't. Ha ha! Oh, of course he's got it. Yeah. He's like the sickest goblins. The sickest goblins in the world. Work one. Oh no, not Arc One. Fucking Arc One, dude. Oh, what up? I will. I see guys in the afterlife. Oh, no system shock for you. Nice. Jesus fuck, man. The I orc's great axe comes down on your armor. Splitting the the shoulder piece from from it completely, it falls to the ground. You turn around and see Wait. him standing over you, you know, massive and and huge. But what, uh, what route did he uh, take to get there? He went like this. Boom, boom. Okay, boom. okay, okay. Let's say. Uh, okay, never mind. This orc's very perceptive. <laughs> I am unconscious but stable. Very perceptive. I get on this side of the log in order to not have disadvantage when I try to attack you with my great axe. Unkillable. Tis just a flesh wound. Alright. Fuck him up. I'm gonna cast my first scorching ray at this guy. You can target multiple ones if you have uh, yeah, multiple attacks. Yeah, but I'm attacks. just uh... kill him, and then don't you have to target everything at the start of the spell? No, it's a hit on each roll. It's three different. Hits. You you can though, just so you know. Yeah, but the uh, the spell says I have to hit people one at a time, pretty much. Well, one cast doesn't equal. Thank you saying it might, it might roll three times. It, it so. it'll roll for roll each of them. Times. Oh, okay. Yeah, that that's what I'm saying is you can target multiple targets. Okay. See, one hit, one miss. Now roll the damage. See? Just applied to the one that you hit. Isn't that yeah. awesome? Bada bing, no, bada boom. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. And that's it. Oh, and then a bonus action hex on the guy to that one. There we go. Nice. Return Tesco. I look at the orc and with great rage and furious anger I Whoopoo. Nice. I smite thee You get two attacks? Uh, no, when I land a hit, I can choose to expand a spell slot as Divine Smite. Oh, cool. I choose this after I land the hit. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. So, it's... And... Oh, he's targeting himself. 
Uh, oh, shit, he's critical. Oh, uh, <laughs> he's critting oh. himself. Shit! <laughs> uh, yeah. I took off your damage, now just untarget yourself. There you go. I did, I did, I did. So that's uh, 9, 12 damage to him, because plus 3 with uh, Radiant. Uh, you just, just pop the... my Scourge Asimar ability, that's the Radiant Consumption. Yep, pop, pop that right into there. Oh, uh, no, I, I don't have a... It's 3 damage. And because to one target I hit with a spell or attack, it does an additional three damage. Oh, it's an additional three. Okay, hold on. Let me get you the uh, the other version of it then. And I'm also doing this 2d8 radiant. Cool. Nice. It's pretty neat, dude. Yeah, you fucked that guy up. All right, don't pa- don't pass your turn. Hold on one second. Let me let yep. me get you the. Well, I guess the hex you don't hit me. <laughs> the damage is equal to my level. Yep. Nice. That's cool. Nice. And uh, also, I hope you're not at two or less life there, uh, Shiro. I'm pretty close. Okay. You should back up and just leave the rest. Because he's just going to keep damaging you. you yeah. just... I was like, if you, if you know. Okay. You're gonna, you oh, wait. Hold on. Because you, you are had to enter in the type. Thing. All right. There you go. Now you've got uh, rating consumption two in order to add the extra damage to the orc yeah. quick. Yeah, I did it. Perfect. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's also to the dying goblin. Yeah, don't forget him. Instant death. Two, one. Murder, murder, kill, kill. Murder, murder, kill. kill. Focusing my attention on this orc in front of me. Who's next? Him. Fuck him up. The, The other guy, the goblin there. And it's uh, your turn, Shiro. All right. Time for my redemption arc. Dude, I have to get out of there, because if you take another hit by him... Uh, I can choose to end it on my turn. Oh, okay. I was going to say. I attack this guy. Um, You don't want advantage? I got it covered. Yeah, if you move just one more square. Oh, no, I got it covered. I'm going to use Fighting Spirit. I get advantage and I get a five HP temp heal. Cool. Oh yeah, samurai ability. I like yeah. that. One. And yeah, fuck this guy. I'm gonna make sure I'm targeting him. Yeah, and fuck this guy. You know I'm freaking going big boy attack. I know you are. You always are. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Oh, that yeah, you didn't use thing. your shit at all. <laughs> you did. I was too excited. All right, take two electric boogaloo. Go! Oh, she hit. Oh, hit. That's Let's crazy. Do. Holy cow! I didn't even know your dice could roll that high. Slap his ass, dude. Let me go. Uh, oh, I gotta do the extra damage. Dun, 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 dun. I'll be right back. Yo. Uh, yo. Yeah, he's fucked. Yeah, His whole fuck life is fucked. <laughs> and then I step over him. I would go near the goblin. Just leave it for us, just in case. Because just, man. just. I mean, it's if you want to take, he's just gonna swing at you. If you want to take the risk, we have protection. I have protections, you know, there's a risk you won't get pregnant, you know? I mean, there's a chance no, you won't I get pregnant. See. Oh, very well. I just don't want you to die and another character go down the thing, and then you're just like... I don't think we'll die, it's just one guy, right? Yeah, but you're fucking zero health. You kind of... Nobody, well, has, 
Oh, I guess well, well, he might he's target used me anyway, lay on hands. I sure. mean, if he targets you from where you're standing, he has to get by me first, unless he has a ranged weapon, then he has mm-hmm. disadvantage uh, on his attack roll anyways. Well, he could walk. I guess he could walk out and of then, your threat. And then he gets double disadvantage. That's mm-hmm. why I just moved back one. Or moved to the side one. Yeah, I've already satiated my DM bloodlust by killing one of you this this session. <laughs> you know, you, you you don't have to get yourself killed. No, you gotta you gotta tempt fate. Well, almost killing you. Yeah. yeah. I should have uh, died well. but by the by the saving grace of the DM's uh Grace Grace, I guess. Yeah. Well I'll I'll stay the where grace I Grace of the Grace. Let's go. My my never ending mercy and compassion. Hmm. It never ends until next time. The gob the goblin uh is going to piss you guys off. Nimble escape. He better roll good. He better escape good. Fucking hell. Off the, off the Silly now. goblins. So if you guys want to try to find him, you can. Otherwise, he's about to disappear into the jungle. I say we fucking get the hell out of here for like, I don't know, a couple fucking an hour down the road or something to get away from the camp because he's going to go warn them and we're not going to be able to get him. All right, let's finish off this orc here then. He's dead. He's dying. Yeah, just plunge your weapons into him. Oh, (laughs) fuck. First, see if he knows anything. <laughs> he, he murdered him. He he, uh, he knows that he ain't alive no more. And I end my radiant consumption. Okay. Uh, before we leave, I'm going to investigate the bodies. All right, can we take a short rest here? No, we got to <laughs> leave. And then my guy's on the door, door, dude. All right, fine, yeah, I know, go. but if we stay here, then he's gonna get. They're gonna yeah, get that's warned. Door. Okay, right. hold on a second. I just search. Just stand me. still while I eel you. Standing still. Oh wait, not healing hands. Take three damage. I, I can't use healing hands more than once. It's the other ability. Not healing hands. Burning hands. <laughs> Actually, or don't take three damage. I'm gonna heal you. Just another twelve here. Yeah, no three damage, please. I feel better. Wait, how many times did I click that? I'm about to count each one. Uh, that was 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh, ignore the fact that I used healing hands there. That's just my lay on hands to go faster. So how much did I heal? Yeah, it should have been 15 total. 15. Okay, my HP was at 26, so should be at 11, right? Oh, no. oh was I healing? Hit. I was healing myself. Yeah, because it didn't update. It didn't update me. Wait, but you're my target. Did you're you literally hands? targeted. I'm not. Don't my know. lay on hands is only healing myself. You have to drag it over to the chat. Drag it, Chase. Or, mean, or you might have to drag it right on to him directly. Try dragging it over to the I, chat first, though. Because I'm not targeted, and he is. Like, is I it? should be... Nine health less. I should be at uh, 16 wounds. But does your ability thing have self as the target? Because like, that's what my second hand does. Has. Oh, it's yeah. Like it's, it's only showing self as target. I can do the dice rolls, because that's what mine is. So I should be 9 health less, and you should be 9 health more. 9 health more. I can uh, fix yours, but I'm going to need uh, DM intervention to wound me. I can update mine if that's okay. So I'd be at 17, I'm pretty sure. If it was there you nine. go. I yield you. I did your 9. I should be at 17 then, I think.
Oh, uh, so it'd be sixteen, because you re- you got the fifteen off of. Oh, is it? Healing hands. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, lay on hands is set up to go to self. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strange. All right. Uh, I'm so good. You're, you're can you only I... can you only use it on yourself? That's not right. No, you lay, can use... lay on hands as any target. Yeah, that's what showing... I thought. That's weird. There you go. Well, any non aberration, non undead. Yeah, now it's now it's set up for targets, oh, so shit. you're good. There we Is go. My character see currently undead. I need to be at uh, 16 wounds, and Shiro is good. So um, just type 16 under your wounds. Oh, I can change it myself. You can. Uh, so I got a 14 for investigation at looking at their shit. Looking at their shit. Yeah, they have just the typical orc equipment. Oh, they didn't have any coinage? Uh, these guys did not, no. Okay. Do they have any poison? The goblins um, have a, a small vial of... Uh, it, it, it's not poison. What it is is essentially like a smoke bomb to conceal their escape. Oh, that sounds badass. Mind if I take this Uza, or do you want it? You can have it. You've sounds been... ninja as fuck, dude. You've been pretty good to us. So there Thank you. Go. What a nice guy. Look at this guy. This guy is nice. Good to us. It's his fault that these guys hey. jumped us. Hey, you're the one on watch. I did my. So you admit that without me, we wouldn't have this treasure. Mm. You can't hey. come. You no. You didn't wake me up for what, so you can't. And because of how tired I feel right now, you cannot convince me otherwise. You were up, and you know it. The and only the, uh, good thing I'm getting right there is that you're an <laughs> asshole. Let's, uh, I persuade him. Oh, I fail at persuading. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, with that, I, yeah, uh, enough, punch I punch you in asleep. the face. I punch you in the face. Oh, I, I fight back full, as, a full friend, hit. as a friendly brawl. You, you guys start to, to you guys start to judo hard. toss and, and kick and, and, you know, do everything else because you're in full <laughs> armor. So there's not a whole lot you can do to like hurt each other oh, too yes. much, but. <laughs> and I go, <laughs> I go, I go to like suplex him. <laughs> Can I roll like an athletics for that? Yeah. If you do that, I'll stab you. Oh, well, that's after getting hit. So, like, this is like you didn't get mere, it. This is mere seconds, or after getting swung at. It's a reflex. It's non-lethal damage. I mean, you miss anyways. You guys are just so tired and everything that that <laughs> you can't even, you know. You're 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 just like swinging and and missing and you're like two heavyweight boxers at the end of the fight just not even able to stand anymore. <laughs> All right, let's see guy going. Okay, let's go. Come on, don't pull out a knife in the uh, fish fight, boy. Yo, I'm a cripple. I have to use every advantage I can get. Hey, Amen. Swing at me if with your, with your crutches, if you might. Which way? Where are we going? I don't know. I'm following Uza. I'm saying that we should leave this area because we just got attacked by things. One of them escaped right. and is going to tell the rest of the army we're here. Like, all right, geez. lead the way, Uza. Brains are fucked. <laughs> Thank you. Well, looking. For, that's uh... meat shields for you. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <gasps> all right, so yeah, uh, you guys, you guys, you know our our. Uh, you know, moving on from from the area for now, and uh, you know, probably trying to finish your rest. I'm gonna assume. Yes. Once we forget yeah. somewhere safe, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, for that, I will uh, go ahead and say that you are able to go and take a rest however because you guys now got broken rest all of you 
uh, except for who was on first watch. That was Jason. Okay. Oh no, that was me. That was me. Okay, so all all of you except for Uza. No, Uza was on first watch. Okay, yeah. who who was asleep first? I I, I fell asleep I on second watch. I was asleep the whole time until we got woken up. Yeah, yeah who, same, same until the fight. Ta Tazco, you don't have to roll. The other two have to roll a constitution check to see if they're exhausted. Wait, do I need to? Because I, I, I wasn't actually up for my watch. I felt... Oh! And you got woken up and then... Yeah, no, no, through. no. Yeah, you. but then it was during your watch. Yeah, no, you didn't get enough sleep. She. All right. Uh, of course. Why am I rolling con save? <sighs> Check. Punished for doing the right thing. Oh, sorry, he cut out. Con Check. Oh, con check. Four. Yeah. Four. Yo, it's because uh, you can't tell. It's the unpredictability of other people. Oh, that's still pretty good. Yeah. So Shiro, you know, again, you're fine, but Uza, you are just exhausted and taking negative one on all of your your shiz. This man does not get any dibs on the next loot. <laughs> Uza's is like the nerdy guy that hangs over. Like <laughs> I'm not a nerd. I'm just not retarded. <laughs> <laughs> With all like the buff dudes. <laughs> I I have, I mean I do specialize in one thing, but it doesn't make me like super smart. I'm just you know you're, you're nerdy average. compared to us at least. Oh yeah. With your book. I you think anybody's nerdy compared to cavemen. <laughs> Hey, ho, who do you say that to? Ooh, ooh, you smash. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Swing sword. Ooh, ooh. Crush puny glasses, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, you know, that's that's pretty much, you know, where where I had everything, you know, for, for this session. Um, the next part is either you guys go and confront the orcs because you feel you've thinned them out enough or the orcs are going to come and confront you. Um, so so we will decide that next time on The Legend of Shiru. We will confront them. Do we get our health there. and spell slots still back even though we didn't? Uh, yeah, so so you guys do get your, your rest, but you're exhausted. Yeah. So uh, I will make sure to have all of that applied. No worries there. And mm -hmm. I want to thank you guys for playing. I want to thank anyone who's watching. And as always, everyone, good gaming.